Let's start in Sukhasana. Come on down to find an easy seat. Cross your legs at your shin, flex your feet. Use your hands to pull the flesh away from your sit bones, just to find a little more verticality through your spine here. Root down through those sit bones, lift through your spine, lift through the top of your head. Relax your shoulders, your elbows, heavy your hands. And eventually as you start to settle in, close your eyes. So you take away your outward vision, begin to turn your gaze inward. Bring your awareness to your breath and today notice where you feel your breath the most. Is it at your nostrils coming in and out through your nose? Is it in your belly? Is it in your chest? Just observe And wherever you feel your breath the most, I want you to highlight that area. Emphasize your breath in that area. The only place we can live in is the present moment. We cannot return to the past and we cannot skip jump into the future. The only time we have the ability to truly touch, experience, and put effort into is the now. Stress about the past and it will feel like you are moving through life with your emergency brake on. You will be weighed down with traction and drag. Anticipate the future and you will be anxious trying to guess what is behind the closed doors around you. Why create this suffering? A suffering that steals from your experience of life. It's a constant practice, staying in the now over and over again. We can practice pulling ourselves back into the moment at hand. The magic is here. The sweetness and depth are here. When we release the past and step into this moment, ah, the emergency brake releases. Ah, freedom. When we focus on our actions in this moment, the need to worry about the future can go away because it's the steps we take now that build our future, not the anticipated steps we imagine we might take in the future. No, it's this step and then this step, each taken with presence and mindfulness, each one feeding the next because without this one, that next one can never happen. Be here. Inhale this moment. Exhale the past. Let it go. Inhale this moment. Exhale and settle into this moment. Trust the magic of presence to lead you forward. Draw your hands to heart center, honoring this moment, this body, this breath. Bow your forehead to your heart. Release your hands to your thighs. 
fingertips. Bring your fingertips alongside your hips, press into your fingers. You might even give your ribs and waist a little wiggle to get taller. And on an inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. As you exhale, crawl those right fingertips out to the right. Stay anchored through your left sit bone as you reach that left arm long. Spin your right ribs towards the ceiling, your heart towards the ceiling, and maybe even your gaze into that upper left arm. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, try and soften your shoulders away from your ears. Take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale, rise back up to center. Exhale, release that left arm. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, crawl those left fingertips out to the left. Stay anchored through that right sit bone as you reach that right side body and arm long. Spin your left ribs and heart and maybe gaze to the ceiling. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale, rise back to center. Exhale, release that arm. Make your way to all fours. You can roll over your shins or swing your legs around. Take your time arriving with your hands, fingers spread wide under your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Tuck and spread your toes. And let's go ahead and take a little wrist stretch today. I want you to tenderly flip your fingers back towards your knees. If this is too much, you can come back to a regular position with those hands. And then start to shift your weight forward over those wrists to the right, back towards your heels and around to the left, just taking small circles, stretching out your wrists. You might even feel a little mobility in your hips as you take these circles. And then reverse and circle the other way a couple times around to the left. Come back to center. You're going to flip to the top of your hand, fingers pointing towards your knees again. Coming towards the top of your hands and then just gentle rocks back and forth. See if you can spread your fingers wide. Again, if this is too much, you can always come back into that regular hand position. And we'll all move there now, coming back to a normal all fours, palms flat, spread those fingers wide here. On an inhale, cow pose, sit bones lift to the ceiling, pull your heart forward and up. Exhale, cat, tuck your tail, lift your belly, push into your hands, spread between your shoulder blades. Again, inhale, cow, sit bones lift. Imagine you could drag your hands towards your knees. Exhale, cat, bring the top of your head and tailbone closer together. Inhale, cow, articulating through your spine. Exhale, cat. This time, inhale, cow pose, and with those sit bones lifted, try and lead from your sit bones. Exhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. Give your legs a little walk, paddle them out. Shake out your head, your neck, maybe open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Feel this down dog right here, not the hundreds of ones you've done before. Don't think about the hundreds you'll do later, just this down dog. Become present and feel. Send your heels towards the floor, press into your hands, lift those hips a little higher to the ceiling. We're gonna wave in and out of plank back to down dog. I want you to start by rising high on your toes and tucking your chin. Lead with your, the back of your heart as you start to roll forward into plank position. From there, soften your knees, lead with your sit bones, almost like you're moving from cow again back into downward dog. We'll take that three more times. Rise high on your toes, tuck your chin, inhale, wave forward into plank. Soften your knees, exhale, lead with your sit bones as you wave back. 
Rise high on your toes. Tuck your chin. Inhale, wave forward. Soften your knees. Exhale, wave back. Rise high on your toes. Tuck your chin. Inhale, wave forward. This time, pause and lower slowly all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes. Sight your hands off to the side of your mat, right and left, and tent up onto your fingertips. Spin the pinky toes down towards the floor to widen across your lower back. And on an inhale, press into your hands. Start to peel your chest and belly off the floor. Begin to lift your heart and gaze towards the ceiling. Easy back bend. Take another breath in. Exhale, dip your right shoulder towards your mat as you gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, lift your heart. Exhale, dip your left shoulder towards your mat, gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center, lift your heart. Exhale, lengthen to lower, pull your belly and heart forward, get longer through your spine as you descend. Two more times, let's smooth it out, press into those fingertips. Inhale, roll through your spine, lift your heart. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lengthen to lower. One more time, inhale, roll through your spine. Lift your chest. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lengthen as you lower. Nice. Plant your hands flat on your mat. Tuck your toes. Engage your legs so much that your knees lift off the floor. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press up to plank. And right back to downward dog. Walk out those legs again, but this time use that pedaling to walk your feet to your hands. Find a forward fold at the top of your mat. You can measure two fist distance as you open your feet hip width apart. Soften your knees, grab hold of opposite elbows. Give your elbows a tug. Can you get longer from your hip creases along your side ribs and waist through your armpits and out those elbows? And as you press into your heels, can you get longer up the backs of your legs and out your sit bones? We're here for a few breaths, Yogi's choice to stay still or add some sways, some bending of the knees, some bounces. Listen to your body, take what feels good. We're here for three, two, one. Release your arms, soften your knees and super slowly unroll one vertebra at a time. Once you arrive, take some shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes touch, hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. Arrive here now in this body, standing tall. Feel your breath, feel your heart. Connect with this moment. Bow your forehead to your hands. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, press your palms. Exhale, your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze your hands together. Inhale, chest expansion. Knuckles drive down, heart lifts high. Hold onto that as you fold with a big exhale. Forward fold with chest expansion. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, grow wider across your chest. Work your forehead closer to your shins. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine, tailbone lengthens back, top of head pulls forward. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, push the floor away with your hands and feet. Exhale, stretch back. Downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. 
Exhale, shift forward, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow across your body. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Rise high on your back toes. Push into your hands, round your spine. Pull your right thigh a little closer to your chest. Stay there, flex your right foot, and then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. On an inhale, pull your heart forward. On an exhale, press into your hands, modified pyramid. Feet stay where they are. Stretch both legs straight and flex your right toes back towards your face as you soften and fold your torso inside your front leg. Let's take that two times on the breath. Inhale back into that lunge, heart pulls forward. Push into your hands, exhale, modified pyramid, flex those front toes. Again, inhale, lizard lunge, heart pulls forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. This time, inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, prayer squat. Hands to heart center, elbows inside your knees. Try and scoop your tailbone forward, draw your chest and shoulders back. Nice, if it feels good to rock a little, go for it. Creating some space and mobility in your ankles, your knees, your hips. Zip up through your pelvic floor. Press down through your feet. On an inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, either step or jump feet together. Hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion, knuckles drive down, heart lifts high. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Widen across your chest, take a full breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, long neck, easy shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky, melt your right heel to the floor. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across your body. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause and breathe. Rise high on your back toes. Push into your hands, round your spine. Pull that left thigh a little closer to your chest. Stay there, flex your left foot. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Lizard lunge. Pull your heart forward. Let your hips melt towards the floor. Take a big breath in. Exhale, modified pyramid, press into your hands, stretch your front leg, flex your front toes back towards your face as your torso and head soften inside that front leg. On the breath, two times. Inhale, re-bend in your front knee, heart pulls forward. Exhale, modified pyramid, flex your front foot. Again, inhale, lizard lunge, heart pulls forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, lizard lunge. Here's a change. Exhale, right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Prayer squat. Again, feel free to rock around a little bit. Push your knees open wide. Pull your shoulders and torso back. Zip up through your pelvic floor. Push down into your feet. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, step or jump, feet together, hands to heart center. Let's smooth that out. One more time, right and left. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky, melt your left heel to the floor. 
Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift forward. Inhale, right leg, high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, right leg, high. Exhale, knee to nose, rise high under your back toes, round your spine, flex your right foot, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, stretch both legs. Two more, inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, prayer squat. Left foot steps forward, hands to heart center. Zip up through your pelvic floor. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, step or jump. Feet together, hands to heart center. Last time, inhale, arms around and up. Exhale, hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky, melt your right heel to the floor. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross the body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Rise on your back toes, round your spine. Flex your left foot. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Two more, inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid. This time, inhale, lizard lunge. Exhale, prayer squat. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Scoop your pelvic floor in and up. Push those knees open wide, but this time, stay and breathe. I want you to keep your left arm inside your left leg. Just extend that left arm out to the side. Reach your right arm up on a high diagonal for a chest stretch and a nice twist. Good. Option to stay here or maybe half wrap that right arm behind you. Maybe fully bind by taking that left arm around to catch for your right fingers. Try and keep equal weight on both feet. Roll that right shoulder back. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. On an exhale, release into that right side. Right arm inside your right leg. Right fingers out to the side, left arm up on a high diagonal. This might be where you stay. Maybe half wrap that left arm behind. Maybe fully bind. Right fingers reach for left. Equal weight on both feet. Roll that left shoulder back. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, release. Fingers to the floor, straighten your legs, drop your head, take some easy sways, side to side. Use those sways to shift your weight and walk your feet in until they're hip width apart. Take your time. Feet are hip width, soften your knees as much as you need to grab onto your big toes and yogic toe lock. First two fingers and your thumbs wrap around your big toes. On an inhale, pull your chest forward, get longer through your spine. Keep that length as you exhale and pull yourself into a deep forward fold. Give your shoulders a couple rolls and see if eventually you can roll those shoulders to slide up your back away from your ears. Think of pulling your collarbones closer to the floor as you draw your elbows out to the sides, right and left. Push down and out through your heels. Keep lifting those sit bones up. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. 
Push your big toes into your fingers. Pull your fingers into your toes. Take one more breath in. Use that leverage. Exhale, pull yourself a little deeper into that fold. Release your arms. Soften your knees and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Take some shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together, big toes touch, hands to heart center as we revisit this pose again. Notice how it feels different. It's a new pose, it exists only in this moment. Be here in the now. Bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Flowing right through it, exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow across your body into fallen triangle. Shoot that right leg through. Spin to the outer edge of your right foot, inner edge of your left foot. Reach your left arm to the ceiling. Push more into your bottom hand. Press your hips and heart to the sky. Take a full breath in. Listen closely. Exhale, transition into wild thing. Left hand down. You're going to unthread that right leg. Bring it all the way behind you. Landing on the ball of your right foot. Reach your right arm to the front of your space. Push into your bottom hand. Press your hips to the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Listen closely. Exhale, transition all the way back into fallen triangle. Right hand down. Shoot that right leg through. Take a full breath there. Exhale, tr transition back into wild thing. Right toes land, right arm reaches to the front of the room. Take a breath in here. One more round, exhale, fall in triangle. Right leg shoots through. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, transition into wild thing last time. Stay there for that breath in. This time, exhale, low lunge. Right hand down, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge, rise up, reach up. Exhale, open twist right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Bring your right hand to the back of your back leg. Turn your left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, exalted warrior. Reach your left arm to the sky. Lift your heart and maybe gaze towards those left fingertips. Start to walk your back hand down that back leg as far as you can go. Reven through that front knee. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Seal your back heel down. Bend your front knee deep. Lengthen through all four sides of your waist, all four sides of your neck as you soften your shoulders down. Inhale, stretch your right leg straight, prepare. Exhale, trikonasana, hip shift back. Right hand lands on your shin or maybe the outside of your right foot. Anchor through your back heel still. Let your tailbone lengthen towards your back heel as the top of your head pulls forward towards the front of your space. Try and draw your belly and front ribs in as you spiral right ribs, heart, and gaze around and up towards the sky. Inhale, reverse warrior. Start by bending that front knee. Reach that right arm all the way up and back. Try and tilt your right hip crease to the ceiling. Make more space there and let that travel along your right ribs, through your right armpit, out your right fingers. Take another breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Reach that left arm overhead. Still anchoring through that back foot. Push your right arm into your right knee to help open that right knee as you spin your right ribs, heart and gaze around again. Inhale back into reverse warrior. Front knee stays bent. Reach all the way up and back. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, low lunge twist, right arm to the sky. 
Exhale, Vashistasana, side plank. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right leg on top. Push into your bottom hand to help lift that bottom hip away from the floor. Breathe for three. Maybe float that right leg. Two. One, Chaturanga, beautiful. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross your body into fallen triangle. Shoot that left leg through. Come to the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Reach your right arm to the sky. Push more into your bottom hand. Press your hips and heart open and up. Take a full breath in. Here we go. Exhale, transition into wild thing. Right hand down. Take that left foot all the way behind that right leg. Land on the ball of your left foot. Reach your left arm to the front of your space. Push into your bottom hand. Press your hips to the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Exhale, transition back into fallen triangle. You exhale as you move, stay in that shape. Take a full breath in. Exhale, transition back into wild thing. Stay there, take a full breath in. One more round, exhale, transition into fallen triangle. Full breath in. Exhale, transition into wild thing. Full breath in, exhale, low lunge. Left hand down, left foot steps forward. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, open twist left, left arm back, right arm forward. Bring your back hand to the back of your back leg. Exalted warrior, right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach that right arm up and back. Lift your heart, maybe gaze to your right fingers. Start to walk your back fingers down your back leg as much as you can. Keep bending your front knee. Take a full breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Seal your back heel down. Bend deeper through that front knee. Soften your shoulders. Let your tailbone drop as the top of your head lengthens to the ceiling. Inhale, stretch your left leg straight. Exhale, trikonasana. Left hand to shin or outside of your foot. Anchor through that back heel. Let your tailbone lengthen towards your back heel as you grow longer through your spine. Pull your belly and front ribs in. Try and spin your bottom ribs, your heart and gaze to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Start by bending through that front knee. Reach your left arm up and back. Try and tilt your left hip crease to the ceiling. Keep a bend in that left knee. Get longer through your left ribs, armpit, arm, and fingers. Take another breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand to the inside of your left foot. Cast that right arm overhead. Refine that back heel. Press down even more. Push front arm into front knee to help open that knee as you spin your bottom ribs, heart and gaze around and up. Inhale one more time, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge twist, left arm high. Exhale, Vashistasana, side plank. Spin to the outer edge of that right foot, stack your left leg on top. Push more into your bottom hand to lift that bottom hip. Stay for three. Maybe float that left leg. Two, one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, maybe find a smile. Exhale, downward facing dog, and breathe. That is our flow. We're gonna move through that sequence one more time. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, let's smooth it out. 
Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow into fallen triangle. Use that inhale to stretch, left arm up. Exhale, transition into wild thing. Use that inhale to stretch. Exhale, transition into fallen triangle. Full breath in. Exhale, wild thing. Full breath in. Exhale, fall in triangle last time. Full breath in. Exhale, wild thing. Full breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist right, right arm back, left arm forward. Right hand to the back of your back leg. Left palm to the ceiling. One big breath in. Reach back, exalted warrior. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, right leg stretches straight. Exhale, Trikonasana. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend your front knee, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, side plank, maybe float that right leg straight away. Breathe for three, two, one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right elbow into fallen triangle. Inhale, right arm high, stretch and breathe. Exhale, transition into wild thing. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, transition into fallen triangle. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, wild thing. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, fallen triangle, last round. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, wild thing, you got it. Full breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge, rise up, reach up. Exhale, open twist left. Back hand to back thigh, right palm to the ceiling, one breath, inhale, exalted warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stretch your left leg. Exhale, trikonasana. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, vashistasana, maybe float that left leg straight away. Breathe for three, two, one, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog for five full breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Bring your right hand to your right thigh. Give that thigh a little push forward and twist and look over your right shoulder. This might be where you stay. Otherwise, work with me towards a quad stretch. Bend that back knee, reach for the pinky toe side of that foot with your right hand. Try and kick your foot into your hand. Lean back a little, open your heart. We're here for a full inhale. As you exhale, spin that back hand to the big toe side of your foot. Square your torso off to the front of your mat. Pull that back heel in closer to your glutes and work that right shoulder inside your right knee. On the breath, two more times. Inhale, pivot to the pinky toe side of that foot. Open your heart. 
Exhale, big toe, side of foot. Squeeze that heel in, square your chest off. One more, inhale, pinky toe side. Exhale, big toe side. Stay here, take one more breath in. And as you exhale, release. Frame your front foot with your hands. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, low lunge. Inhale all the way into standing splits. Shift onto that right leg, float your left leg to the sky. Try and work your torso and forehead closer to your right shin. Breathe for three, two. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend both knees. Tuck your left leg behind your right. Squeeze your left heel towards your glute. Keep your forehead close to that front knee. On an inhale, expand into Ardha Chandrasana. Take your time. Left leg extends out, left arm reaches to the ceiling. Work to square your hips and chest off to the left side of your space. Stay for a breath in. Exhale back into that Shiva squat. Bend your left knee behind your right, curl into a ball. This time inhale Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. This time right arm reaches to the sky as that left leg extends back. Stay for a breath in. Exhale back into that Shiva squat. One more round. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Take your time. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Right arm up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, low lunge. Step that left foot way back. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook your left arm to the outside of your right leg. You can always drop that back knee if you need to. Press your palms together. Spin your heart towards your thumbs. Three breaths, any other variation you'd like, feel free to take that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Crawl your hands around to the left, wide-legged forward fold. Turn your toes and heels out. Just start with a couple sways. Let your hips sway, your torso sway. And then yogi's choice here. You can grab for big toes, for outer heels, maybe chest expansion or tripod headstand. We're here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. If you're in tripod, take your time. Everyone release your arms. Crawl your hands to the right, low lunge facing front. Inhale, step to plank, let's flush it out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Left hand to left thigh. Push that left thigh forward. Twist and look over your left shoulder. Great place to stay and breathe. If you're ready for that quad stretch, bend your back knee. Grab for the pinky toe side of your foot with your left hand. Kick your foot into your hand. Lean back a little. Open your heart. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, pivot that back hand to the big toe side of your foot. Square your torso to the front of your mat. Squeeze that back heel towards your glute. Work your left shoulder inside your left knee. Two more times on the breath. Inhale, pinky toe side of foot. Exhale, big toe side. Squeeze that heel and square off. Inhale, pinky toe side of foot. Exhale, big toe side, squeeze in, square off, stay there. Take one more breath in. 
Exhale, release. Hands frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, low lunge. Inhale all the way into standing splits. Pendulum your torso forward as that right leg lifts. Relax your shoulders. Work your belly over your thigh, your forehead closer to your front shin. Breathe for three, two, take one more breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Both knees bend, tuck that right leg behind your left. Squeeze your right heel towards your glute. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, open up to the right. Flatten out your hips and torso to the right side of your space. Reach out that lifted heel, reach out those top fingers. Take another breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. This time inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Left arm lifts, top leg reaches up and back. Spin around your spine to the left. Take a full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more round. Inhale, blossom into Ardha Chandrasana, nice and light with grace. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana, left arm up. Exhale, Shiva squat. This time, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, low lunge, right toes land back. Inhale, high lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Right arm hooks to the outside of that left leg. As you press your palms, try and spin your heart to your thumbs. Stay here or take any variation. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Crawl your hands to the right. Find that wide-legged forward fold. Toes and heels out. Start with some swings. As you swing, decide where you want to take this yogi's choice again. Grabbing for big toes, outer heels, chest expansion, tripod headstand. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Full breath out. Release your hands. Take your time if you're in tripod. Walk your hands to the left, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Let's flush it out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your toes, gaze past your hands. Exhale, bend your knees, jump your feet through your hands. Have a seat and come all the way onto your back. Walk your heels in close to your seat. We're gonna take one bridge pose together and then a second back bend, yogi's choice to stick with bridge or move into full wheel. So starting with bridge, heels in close, arms alongside your body. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press in your heels, tuck your tailbone, lift those hips. Interlace your hands underneath you. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in, lift your hips a little higher. Exhale, slowly release your hands, release your hips, lower down. Second back bend. Either coming back into bridge pose, if so, arms alongside your body. If you'd like to take Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands by your ears. Wherever you are, inhale, prepare. Use that exhale, push into your feet, lift your hips. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in, exhale, release. Slowly lower down, gently let your knees sway side to side.
Let your knees fall over to the left. Bring your left foot to the outside of your right knee. Let that foot be a weight to help weight that right knee towards the floor. Extend your right arm up on a high diagonal. Turn your gaze towards your right hand. Slowly come back through center. So you uncross that left leg, place it to the side of your mat. So your feet are mat width apart. And then let your knees fall to the right. Right foot comes to the outside of that left knee. Weight that knee closer to the floor. And reach your left arm up on a high diagonal. Gaze to that left hand. Come back through center. Place your feet on the floor. And we'll move into a figure four stretch. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Grab behind your left leg or a little deeper in front of that left shin. Pull your left leg in, send your right knee away. Try and lengthen your lower back to the floor and add a little tuck to your chin so the back of your neck is long. Yogi's choice to stay right here. If you'd like to take this a little deeper, we're gonna move into sort of an upside down pigeon. You'll release your left hand from your shin and bring it through the hole that your right leg is making. Try and hook your, the eyes of your elbows around that right leg. Keep that right shin pulling in as you extend your left leg to any degree. Let your head and shoulders relax towards the floor as much as possible. Flex that right foot. You can always bend that left knee and bring that left foot flat to the floor if that feels more comfortable. Take one more full breath in wherever you are. And as you exhale, just release and hug both knees into your chest. Take a moment there, gentle rock side to side. And we'll switch to the left. Figure four, left side, left ankle crosses over your right thigh. Grab behind that right leg or in front of that right shin. Tuck your chin slightly so your neck is long. As you pull that right knee in, reach your lower back to the floor and send that left knee away. Option to stay here or move into that upside down pigeon, release your right hand and thread it through that hole that your left leg is making. Try and hook the eyes of your elbows around that left shin and then keep that left leg pulling as, in as you stretch your right leg out. Any degree, relax your head and shoulders. If it's more comfortable to bend that right knee and plant that foot on the floor, go for it. Wherever you are, take one more breath in. And as you exhale, release and hug both knees into your chest. Take some gentle rocks side to side. You might even let that trickle into your neck and head, a little sway right to left there. Happy baby, flex your feet to the ceiling, reach for the outer edges of your feet. Pull your feet and knees towards the floor. Push your feet into your hands to help lengthen your lower back into the floor. You might stay still, you might add some rocks, you might stretch one or both legs straight. And hug your knees in towards your chest. Let your knees fall to the left, look to the right, and close your eyes. Begin now to find a layer of Shavasana in your body. The 
Inhale your knees through center. Exhale your knees to the right. Look left, but then close your eyes. Inhale your knees back to center. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees. Squeeze everything into a tight, tight ball. Take a full breath in. And as you sigh and release and exhale, extend out into final rest. Shavasana. Full surrender into your body into this moment. Soften your thought. Soften effort. Soften any gripping or attachment or worry. Allow yourself to be here. Fully experience these next few minutes. Simply by being present.
Feel free to remain in Shavasana for as long as you need until you feel nourished. If you're ready to come out, wiggle your fingers, toes, wrists, ankles. Gently sway head, hips, side to side. Start to walk your knees towards your chest and roll to the right. And eventually make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Arrive here. There is surely nothing other than the single purpose of the present moment. A man's whole life is a succession of moment after moment. There will be nothing else to do and nothing else to pursue. Live being true to the single purpose of the moment. Yamamoto Sunitomo. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.